Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we are going to talk about running eight ball groups. Now, what does that mean? It means when you have an eight ball layout, now we have one on the table here, the eight's down here on the rail. We've got four balls down there, well three, two in the center of the table, two down here. When we're looking at eight ball groups, we want to look at different parts of the table. If you break the table down into different sections, you're able to run out in different sections. So this is a section, that's a section, that's a section. And instead of having yourself running back and forth on the table, you're taking a series of six, seven, eight foot shots. What you wanna do is try to break the table down anytime you can into sections. So this is a pretty good layout. This simulates a mid game situation where the stripes have missed. Now, I'm gonna show you some diagrams on the screen and we will discuss those diagrams. To make this easier for you to visualize, I've renumbered the balls to show the order I feel that they should be shot in. The best way to run out any rack in eight ball straight pool or any game where you have shot selection, you should look for these triangles. Notice how the one, two, and three form a triangle. The three, four, and five create a triangle and the five, six, and seven. Now they're not always going to be this clear cut but these triangles exist in most runouts. And even though you might not find three within the rack, finding just one or two of them will help you run out just about any game. Invest the 15 seconds that it takes to find these layouts and you'll run out a lot more often. Hopefully you guys have access to your own table or a pool room where you can try some of these runouts. This layout is not random. I put these in a very specific order so that you guys could see these patterns and how they materialize and how you play different groups to move down the table. Now, you actually have what amounts to a stop, stop, stop situation on a lot of these shots. I'm gonna take some angles just to show you guys different ways that you can handle these. But you see, I just stunned that out. And I also want you to get accustomed to using the rails to stop your cue ball. So we're gonna take some angles that you won't even really have to take because you see, that was a stun shot, that was a stop shot. This is a stop shot here, just a slight angle. Now we can stun the four and we'd actually have a relatively, not totally straight shot on the three, but you can see here, I'm gonna draw it out just a little bit now, why do I want to draw it out a little bit? First off, I want to make sure I have a good angle on this two, which means being past the two, or I'm going to have a situation with the one. Now, I have two different things I can do with this. I can get on this side of the two and then play the one there, which is the ideal way. If I get past the two, I'll just shoot a draw shot here to get on the one there and just hold up for the eight. So here I'm going to just stun this a little bit. My cue ball is going to move this way. And no matter what happens, I'm going to have a shot on that two ball. This is actually a stun with a little bit of right. I put the right on there so that I didn't have to send the cue ball flying down the table. So the right kind of threw the three ball towards the pocket and allowed me to do what was the closest thing to a stop shot that was available. Now, don't just say, okay, I'm on the one. <laughs> Come over here and look at it. This is not a stop shot that I want. I don't want to stop here, even though I could do it, because when I play the one, I'm going to be going this way, and this eight is being hidden. So I want to make sure that I'm either perfectly straight or on this side of the one, which means a slight little draw shot here. You guys that practice the semicircle drill, this is where that drill pays off. Being able to draw the cue ball back four inches is the difference between me being out here and not being out at all. We roll the one ball in and that's just enough to give us a line on this eight ball. We needed to get past that 11. We are well past the 11 and it's a wrap. Here's a slightly different version of the same run out, exact same layout, except I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize the rails a little bit more. So we're gonna shoot our stop shot on the seven ball here. And then instead of shooting a stop shot on the six, 
We're going to bounce off of the rail, get ourselves on the five with an angle. Just good speed on that. You're just going to tap this five ball in. But notice how each shot, I don't send the ball to the rail. The rail would be position, but we want to bounce off the rail. Everybody complains about having to shoot off of the rail. <laughs> First step is you don't leave yourself on the rail. So we shoot a stop shot there. Notice I drew it back just a tiny bit once again to get off the rail. And now our position on the two is going to be compromised a little bit. I have an angle on the two. So I'm on the left hand side of the shot line. So what I'm going to do is shoot a draw shot here, come off of what the rail and get on the one ball. So notice I didn't just send the ball to the rail. I got off of the rail and now we just draw back enough that we can see that eight ball. We squeeze the cue ball in there and we are out once again. So all your patterns aren't going to be that laid out. But you'd be surprised how many of them are. Sometimes one group is laid out, stop, 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 and then you got to work a little bit for another one. But there are enough layouts in eight balls, especially when you get down to four balls or so, three or four balls, where you have a series of relatively easy, what would be stop shots or, or soft little draw shots or follow shots that will get you out. But think in terms of working the groups, that group, this group, this group, 90% of the time, it makes sense. You can't always pull it off, but 90% of the time, it makes sense to end with the group that is closest to the eight ball. If you saw my video on key ball play, you know that sometimes your last ball before the eight is all the way at the other end of the table, and that's fine. I don't mind when that happens, as long as there's a way to get on it, but preferably stop, stop, stop. The other thing that you have an opportunity to, to learn here is I did not take one shot that was more than four feet long. You're not going to have long shots if you play good patterns and if you're able to play these groups properly. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You're not getting this. You're not getting this other places. I know what's happening out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out this video and Hit us in the comments. Let us know what you think. Have a great day.